bringing in the cedar as, uh, yeah, a lot of us in dealing with mm. the allergies. I know Colt and my son was dealing with- Struggling uh, with that, struggling right? Struggling at dinner time because he was, he played all outside all day long. Who wouldn't? Yeah. We're talking about temperatures into the 80s Incredible. for some parts of the state. 76 officially here in Oklahoma City, but look at the nation. All the cold airs off towards the north, towards North Dakota and out towards Bangor, Maine and Boston and New York City at 35. But here across the center half of the state, uh, 70s and 80s. And here across the Sooner State, 76 officially here at Will Rogers Airport, up to Turnpike 77 in Tulsa, 78 in Ponca City, 76 in Enid, 79 in Woodward, 82 there in Hollis in southwest Oklahoma, 79 in Altus. We'll go for 87. Yeah, you heard me right. 87 here in the metro. Uh, here for a record high temperature in Oklahoma City. With those west to southwest winds will be gusty in nature here this tomorrow afternoon with the low humidity, lots of sunshine. I think we'll shatter the record of 82 back in 1996. We'll come close to beating the record, if not beating the record, on Tuesday. Right now, record tying high temperature of 1918 of 83. It is beautiful out there. It is February and we're at 58 degrees, not a hint of a breeze hardly out there with those clear skies and very comfortable uh, evening. And then overnight, those temperatures will cool out of the 50s into the 40s for some, especially off to the west. We're at 49 right now in El Reno, 58 in Shawnee, 56 and more, 56 uh, there off towards the north. As you can see, temperatures 40s and mainly 50s here across the state and a little bit of a south wind. Uh, that'll pick up a little bit, especially out to the west, but a lot of wind is in store for us over the next couple of days. So just be aware of that. It'll be very windy, especially as we head towards uh, uh, tomorrow afternoon and again on Tuesday. Cold front comes in. We go from record hot temperatures to cold temperatures uh, through the period and a little weak weather system. It looks weak and dry on Thursdays. We have, we have pretty much eliminated those rain chances. Temperatures rebound quickly. And then here comes another weather system with a big powerhouse jet. Storm chances on the southern half, northern half will be a blizzard here in about seven days. So we'll have to watch that closely as we go up and down with temperatures over the next uh, week or so. Future winds, like I mentioned, not much wind to speak of tonight, but we really start to crank it up as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. Here across the metro, a little bit of a breeze in the morning. Most of the wind will be staying out west, but then we'll get that wind to really pick up. And there is a little piece of energy that'll come in. And I think about mid-afternoon, about two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, we might get season wind gusts 35 to 40 and then relax with the winds just a little bit by the evening hours, but still a little breezy with those south winds tomorrow night. And then look at the winds Tuesday, low humidity, dormant grass, high wildfire threat, especially off towards the west of Oklahoma City with those wind gusts approaching 50 out of the southwest to west, and then here comes our powerful cold front that'll sweep in quickly Tuesday night as we go from summer-like to winter-like on Wednesday. So just prepare yourself. Those high wildfire threat off towards the west, uh, low to moderate to high, that high moves into the metro area on Tuesday all across western Oklahoma. Our trackers will be out the next couple of days watching those wildfires for you as they could quickly spread off towards the east. Temperatures here tonight, 40s to low 50s, yeah, low 40s to near 50 degrees off towards the south. And then sunshine tomorrow, a gusty west wind during the afternoon, middle to upper 80s here across the metro. And then look at your night day forecast. We're going to be warming it up into the 80s on Tuesday. Sharp cold front, wind chills in the teens and 20s on Wednesday. And then a beautiful weekend's in store. And we'll watch that chance of severe weather next weekend. Chris.